of Shalawan, Kahala Yahawu, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Raka Kadash, Dabo Amazon to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahusha, and Lord willing for the Spirit, tonight's topic will be entitled A Sound of Battle is in the Lamb. All right? I'm going to repeat that again. A Sound of Battle is in the Lamb. And I took tonight's title as a, as a quote from the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter and the 22nd verse. All right, and basically I, I was inspired by the the brother, uh, I, 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 I think his name is uh, Tessa Kwan, if I'm not mistaken. But he's basically the brother from the, the Men of Valor camp. And he has a channel on YouTube, Stay in the Spirit, 144. And I was checking out one of his videos a, a few days ago where he, he, he gave an update on the situation in Ukraine. And ultimately, um, it doesn't look like things are going to get any better over there anytime soon, all right? And as you can see from the title, of, of, of his show, it reads, World War III is already active, all right? And he gives a, a, a full description in the video. He, he reads the articles and, and goes over a, a couple of precepts and so forth, all right? Describing how, how World War III is already in, in, the, in the beginning stages, man, all right? All right? Right now, it's it's this little fight out there in Ukraine. You know, uh, Russia been 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 bombing cities and and towns over there, and and thousands, if if not millions, of so-called white people over there have been killed. All right, lying dead on the street and and, and so forth. Others have lost their homes. All right. And all of this began in February of last year, all right? In late February of last year, of the 2022, was when this whole thing first began making waves and escalating. Now it seems that it's escalating even more, all right? Because that's how, that's how the Most High is, is uh, that's how he's, 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 he's uttering in this final battle, this this war of Armageddon. He, he's, he, he's been staring things up gradually as time moves along. All right? So this thing has really been, been picking up more momentum uh, since last year. All right? And then the Brothers article right here, it says, U.S. and NATO on path to full-fledged military conflict in Europe, okay? And so the things are only escalating, all right? Uh, I've, I've, I've picked up from other sources that, that Russia, Russia is getting ready to send more, more tanks and, and advanced weaponry into the Ukraine. Well, what does that really mean? It doesn't look like, like they're getting ready to ne 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 negotiate a peace deal anytime soon, man. All right. Meanwhile, uh, uh, President Joe Biden and his administration is, uh, you know, is also willing to to send the Ukrainian soldiers over there in Ukraine uh, some extra troops. All right, and 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 more weaponry, you know, more U.S. weaponry as as support. For, for Ukraine, man. Okay? So so this theme is only escalating and 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 into this 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 third woe uh, mentioned in, in the book of Revelation, which Lord willing, I'm gonna kick off. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll be reading that scripture uh, uh, real shortly as I move along. Alright? So for anybody that Anybody that might be watching, all right, 
You can just go to the Brothers channel, Stay in the Spirit 144, and check out uh, one of his latest videos, World War III, that's already active. All right? I, for my part, became inspired. You know, I, 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 I thought of, 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 of hitting my topic. All right? And, you know, a, a topic of my own tonight. And so I, I did a little more research on the matter, and I, I picked up this article here, all right? It's, it's, it's the latest information, by the way. Ukraine war latest. Russia preparing for new wave of attacks by the end of February, says Ukrainian ofi official, all right? Now, I just mentioned a little while ago, all right, that that the invasion of Ukraine began a year ago, precisely in February, all right? So don't be surprised if come this February, fe February is only in a matter of days now, all right? Today is January the 28th. Don't be surprised if something major might, might, might happen by the end of February, all right? <clears throat> don't let, let 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 not let not any of us be surprised if something major might go down or it might escalate to more serious tensions all right and on the flip side of the coin all right as if things were not bad enough with Ukraine there's also there's also been the sound of battle all right involving China all right there's there's war there's war drums beating all right Salakia <clears throat> the war drums have also been beating with the situation of, of China of, of whether or not it might invade uh, Taiwan and that also is gonna it's gonna uh, lead to a uh, a worldwide global conflict, man, that that will ultimately be World War III. All right, so so the Lord is mustering the alarm, man. He's sounding off the the alarm. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read a, a a little more of this article, and then Lord willing, I'll kick off with a few scriptures. All right, just give me a minute. All right. It says here at least 300 casualties were likely caused in strikes of Russian barracks in the eastern Ukrainian city of Makikova. Makik, 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 Makikka. I'm, I'm, I'm Salakia. I'm, you have New Year's Day. All right. The British Defense Ministry has confirmed. Listen to the to the latest Ukrainian War Dairies podcast as you scroll. All right. So right now I'm gonna read I'm gonna read this little article again. Russia is preparing for new wave of attacks by the end of February, says Ukrainian U official. Moscow is likely preparing to launch a new wave of attacks on Ukraine by the end of February, a Ukrainian official said last night. Okay, Alexei Danilov, Secretary of the National Secretary uh, Salakia, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council, said it is likely Russia is preparing for maximum activation by the first anniversary of the invasion on 24 February. All right, so there you go. That, that, that's all I'm reading on that. All right. <coughs> Just to give you a, 
just to give y'all a head start on, on the serious of this matter and, and where things are going, man. All right? It's only gonna it's only gonna escalate. It's only gonna get worse. All right. It's not gonna get any better. If 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 if, if the situation was to really get any better, then there would have been a peace treaty by now. There would have been some kind of solution by now. Would not you think? You see what I'm saying? All right. But it is the elites themselves. All right. It is the most high that puts it in the mind of, of these wicked elite, all right? The 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 you know the 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 so the, the Illuminati bankers, all right, the, the Rothschild and, and Rockefeller bankers, they're behind this thing, man. They want this World War Three to, to pop off, all right? That 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 is really one of their goals, and, and they think that. They really think that they're going to succeed all the way in this thing, and they're not. All right? Why do you think they got uh, these underground uh, military bases, man? It's a secret underground military bases, man. All right? And they also got space stations in, in outer space where where they think they're, they're going to they're gonna go up there and, and try to hide. From, from the nuclear destruction that they themselves are going to help perpetrate. You see what I'm saying? All right? But but the Most High, is, is, hey, the Most High's got them all. He's, he's going to lay a monkey, a monkey wrench on them real soon. All right? So I just read you this article, all right, or at least part of it. I'm going to kick off with the scripture now, Je Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, all right? Let's start right there, Je Je Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, all right? All right, just bear with me a moment. All right, and for the few, and for the few of you that 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 might that might be watching my show tonight, all right. Uh, the only thing I ask for is that, Lord willing, you, you care to to hit a, a like and and subscribe button at my channel, all right, Lord willing. So let's just try and get. Jeremiah 50 real quick, all right? Just bear with me a moment, uh, Lord willing, you know. Every... Every every time I put up these shows, and you know, it's a it's a battle with these spiritual demons, man. All right. So I said I was gonna read verse, pick up from verse 22. So let's just scroll on down. Okay. And what does that say? A sound of battle. It's in the land and of great destruction. This is Jeremiah 50 and the 22nd verse. I'm going to read that again. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Okay, so so, so what is a sound of battle? All right, the, 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 the Lord is letting you know right here that a sound of battle is, is being heard not just throughout Babylon, throughout Throughout the whole planet Earth, because this 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 great this great global conflict, known as World War Three, is brewing right now. As I speak, it's getting ready to happen. It may not happen. Uh, it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. But you can you can bet your asses as soon as these elites 
All right, according to, to the Apostle Elder Tahar, ain't no World War III going to happen um, 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 unless the, the, the prophecy in, in Revelation, the 13th chapter, is finally fulfilled. All right, that being the, the MOTV scripture. All right, when, when Esau finally uh, implements this uh, MOTV, you understand what I'm saying? Go go to Revelation the 13th chapter, and for those of you that know already, you know what I'm talking about. Um, unless this thing is not made mandatory, all right, and everybody is forced to to comply to this uh to this tyrannical new way of of, of living and new way of being, all right, then then there ain't gonna be no World War Three, but it, it will happen. As much as, as the prophecy in, in Revelation 13 must first take place, then what 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 you what, what you're seeing now, what you see happening now, it's, it's only going to escalate and and blow up and blow up into that final that final uh, war of Armageddon, man. All right, that, that they they make this thing mandatory. Revelation 13 chapter, and everything might 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 take place this very year, man. You might never know. Everything might take place this very year. I'm not saying that it's gonna happen this year. It might, or me and other brothers only guess, but it is quite near. It is quite near. All right, a sound of battle is in the land. And of great destruction, that there's going to be great destruction everywhere. All right, M masses of bodies of, of of dead bodies laying on the street, a car set on fire, a building set on fire, massive riots. All right, and and then when 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 them nuclear missiles f f finally hit, it's, it's going to be a, a great lake of fire, man. Great destruction. All right, a sound of battle is in the land. Now, now, for edification's sake, I need to bring this up real quick. For those of you that might be watching, all right, do you remember the? Uh, for, for for those of you that 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 might really that might really be into YouTube and all that, you might you might remember them them. Uh, them, them, them horn noises coming out from 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 the sky, all right. Them, them, uh, that the people were complaining about a decade ago. This started happening already. Them strange noises coming from above, coming from the heavens. But people were were were. It, it was even on the news, all right. Even the even some of the news uh, re reported some of it. Where people were were hearing strange horn horn like noises, trumpet noises coming out of the sky, man. All right, the, the, these strange noises coming from 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 above. I I I remember I, I remember seeing the 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 videos and reports on it. That this was uh this was somewhere in, in the twenty tens. I, I think I think it started intensifying in 2011, 2012, and so on. All throughout that decade, all right, if, 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 you, if, if you follow closely, all right, if, if, if you have followed closely, you would you notice that there were always reports on, on, on strange trumpet sounds and all that. Okay, well, guess what? The, the, the angels in heaven, the, 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 that was the Lord's way of 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 signaling the, the this sound of battle already, man. Okay, that that was really a, a a spiritual warning from above. You understand what I'm saying? That that was a spiritual warning from above, and, and not to mention the constant so-called UFO or UAP chariot sightings. All right, they're not going to ever disappear. You you're going to see. More and more of them pop up as these last days draw draw to a close. All right, so a sound of battle is in the land, 
and of great destruction. Verse 23, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? All right, so the Most High is getting ready to, to make this whole place, all right, which is biblically known as Babylon, uh, become a, a, a desolation, become a huge desert. So you can understand, okay? You thought that little that that little f f a phantom that uh, that little uh, forbidden zone ending and 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 the original Planet of the Apes movie was really something, all right? When when, when they had they had Charlton Heston riding his horse, all right, with with with, uh, with, with, with that mute lady, and 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 discovered that he was really on planet Earth all along when he saw the Statue of Liberty, all right. Okay, you thought that was really something. Ain't gonna be no 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 Statue of Liberty nor any remnants of this place when when the real destruction finally happens, man. Not even the beach. They, 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 they showed you the, the Statue of Liberty, the lime on the beach and all that. You understand what I'm saying? There's not going to be not one drop of water in, in, in this place a, a, after the final destruction, man. It's just going to be sand everywhere, literally. All right? So, so picture that in your mind. Okay? <coughs> Salakia. Jeremiah 50, verse 24. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. And thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. All right? And this place has striven against the Most High in, 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 in all kind of ways. All right, by by whitewashing the the rush the original Russian Russian icon images, okay, that's number one, and and, and the, the crimes against humanity, all right, mainly the Israelites, the real chosen people of the Most High, how they had how they were brought here as slaves, how how, how they were humiliated, how the original inhabitants of this land the so-called savage Native American Indian was deprived of, of, of his well-being here and put on a damn reservation, all right? The, the, those are the Lord's people too, man. The, they, the, they were never no, no savage Indians. If anything, they, they, they helped the so-called pilgrims and other set, settlers find their way and survive here, man, okay? And 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 look and look at the kind of look look at the kind of uh look how they got paid back, all right. Plainly speaking, all right. So they have striving against the Lord in many kind of ways, man. Okay. Verse twenty-five, Jeremiah fifty, verse twenty-five. The Lord have opened His armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. The weapons of his indignation. What, 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 what do you think that is? The weapons of his, of his indignation. All right? The nuclear weapons, for one. Okay? The, 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 the nuclear weapons that are, are going to be fired from, from these nuclear silos, like you have seen in, in, in all these... Uh, uh, the Terminator movies, the, the, they're going to be fired in real life. All right? The, that, that's the weapons. That, that's weapons of his indignation, number one. The, the, the second weapons of indignation, number two, will, will be them very chariots, the, them so-called UFOs, all right, or, or UAP, as, as they're now called, that they, they, they ain't going to be just always be displayed. Uh, they're not going to be always just showing off in, 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 in the clouds. They're not going to just be always be displaying themselves. All right. 
they're going to come down here also to 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 lay a major groundwork, man. Do do uh do heavy duty destruction, and get people killed as well, man. That hey, the, the most time means business, man. Okay, the Lord means business. That that take a good look at that image right there. All right, that 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 that's the image that's coming to terrorize this planet Earth real soon, man. Because the Lord is, is also known as, 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 the, as the king of terrors in the book of Job, if I'm not mistaken. He's the king of terrors, man. Okay? He's coming to, to lay terror upon, upon those that ain't right on this planet Earth. Upon those that, that refuse to repent. Okay? Upon those that refuse to do good and, and follow his way, he's going to lay that wrath upon them, man. Okay, so hey, if if you ain't if if hey if 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 you don't take heed to this here show, or take heed to this word, it's on you, man. It's on you, man. Okay, but the Lord means business, man, and and ultimately He's gonna come and and and, and prove it on that very day, that that He means business. All right. When when you see people get put to death a certain way, that they that they they get struck by laser laser beams and and be, and and turned into dust, ashes to ashes, dust to hey, you're gonna be terrified. All right. You better hope and pray that 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 you don't end up falling into the hour of temptation and take that damn MOTB man, because if you do. That's your ass right there. And, and, and the Lord ain't playing. He, he's he, he's going to sap your ass to death, man. All right? Ain't no joke about that. Okay? So so getting back to the scripture, all right? Salakia. So, and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Indignation. Is righteous anger, all right? The third weapons of his indignation, I, I must bring out, will also be those men of, of the elect men, all right, whom Lord willing, the, the most high will give spiritual power to, all right? Once they get beamed up into them chariots, to hey, you're going to see some, some giant-sized angel, angels, Emerge from them chariots, man, and they're gonna be they're gonna be they're gonna be tearing shit up too. They're gonna be they're gonna be destroying people and buildings too. All right, so so that so they too will make up part of of the weapons of of the Lord's indignation, man. He's coming back with a lot of anger to, towards this great white country. So you can understand in this and this whole great white white world, okay? He's coming back to destroy this this great white world. All right, okay. Plain and simple, man. Fear of a black planet. For those of you that might be watching and, and are old school, remember that 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 old Public Enemy uh, a, a soundtrack that came out in the early nineties. That album that came out, they called it what? Fear, fear of a Black Planet. All right? Hey, that, that's what's coming. All right? A so-called Black Planet. Okay? So-called White Esau hates that. He dreads that. He's afraid of that. He's going to try and prevent that from happening with his technology. All right? Going to try and, and defy the Lord at his second coming. Ain't none of that going to work, man. All right? So I'm going to read this verse one more time. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, power of hosts, in the land of the Chaldeans. All right? So that's all I'm reading up on that. Okay? Now, I just read the, 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 the sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, right? Let's go to Amos 3 and 6 now. 
all right, that, 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 that could serve as precept to what I just read. Amos 3 and 6, all right? Amos 3 and 6, and what does that say? All right, a little while ago, I, I was mentioning about the trumpet sounds that, that were coming out of the heavens about 10 years ago, and, and, and people were people were both scared and complaining, and it was on the news and so forth. And I just read you the scripture of, of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, all right? Okay, now I'm going to read you this one. It's going to sound quite familiar. All right, watch. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Okay, well, what, what did I just mention just a little while ago? I mentioned about this phenomenon that, that, that occurred 10 years ago. All right, it was all over the news all throughout America and, and, and even the world, there, 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 was, there, there were these trumpet noises coming out of the sky, all right? As a matter of fact, for edification's sake, all right, uh, for those of you that might think that, that maybe I'm, I'm bullshitting, which I'm not, I'm going to type, hold on a second. I'm going to type trumpet, trumpet noises, all right, trumpet noises in the sky, okay, trumpet noises in the sky, all right, now, now, let, now, now let's hit that real quick, okay, Okay, so so you see you see that I'm not bullshitting, right? You see that I'm not bullshitting, right? Here's a whole here's a whole bunch of reference videos, okay, to what I just talked about. Okay, the number one, uh, the, the video number one here, fifteen trumpet sounds. Okay, trumpet sounds from the sky. Strange Noises in British Columbia, the source behind the, a, a mystery sound heard around the world, okay? Strange Noise reported in St. Louis County. So this ain't no, no bullshit, man, okay? Mystery Sounds Unnerved New Jersey Community, okay? <coughs> okay? Anyway, I'm gonna hit at I'm, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna click on one of these videos. All right, I'm gonna click on one of them. All right, just to give you a prelude that hey, what I'm saying here ain't no bullshit, and 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 and, and, and this should go hand in hand with the scripture I'm I'm reading in Amos three and six. All right, so listen to this. Listen, listen, watch and listen carefully to this video. It's a very short video, all right? All right. No, no. the strange, strange sounds, sounds were heard, heard across, across Terrace, BC, BC early, early yesterday, yesterday morning at last. Just have, have a listen, listen to, to this. this. So, so what, what are, are you, you hearing? hearing? Well, well, we don't we really know. know. The strange, the strange sounds, sounds were heard across Terrace, BC, early yesterday morning and lasted for about 10 minutes. Speculation, Speculation about what caused it ranges from the Aurora Borealis to aliens, or it could just be a prank. But similar sounds have been recorded in other parts of BC and reported in other locations around the world. All right, so, so there you go. That's all you need to hear on that. Just to, to just to make my point that this ain't no bullshit, man. Okay, right now I'm I'm trying to read you a biblical scripture, and the Lord Himself has has been making His point 
all right, with, with the video I just played. So I'm going to read that again. A Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Okay, so, so hey, the, 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 the prophet here, by, by way of the Lord, is being uh, sarcastic. All right? He, he's asking, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? All right? So, so the Lord is the offer of all things, all right? Okay, he himself, ha he himself has boasted in the book of Isaiah, all right? I, I, I create, I make peace. No, hold on. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, all right? What, what, what kind of entity is able to, to make such a boastful statement, okay? This, this, this little so-called white man here desperately wants to be like the Most High, all right? He, has that, he wants to have that God complex. He wants to be like, like, like the ultimate power. By, by, you know, he, he, by means of his technology, he wants to boast about his technology. Look at what I can do. I I I I I I I can make I can make blind people see again by way of my technology. I can raise people up from the dead by way of my technology. Okay? He's 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 using his technology as a means of, of miracles. Okay? Carnal miracles and that the most high is all about spirituality. Okay? So hey, so I, I hope I hope you get uh, I, I hope this this lesson is edifying tonight. All right. So that's all I wanted to read on that. All right. Now let, let's let's go over to Re uh, Revelation now. All right. Re Revelation. All right. I'm gonna read Re Revelation the the eleventh chapter. All right. Revelation 11 and 14. Let me scroll down a bit. Okay, and it says here, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right. Now, now what, what, what's that woe talking about? Well, what, what is that third woe coming quickly? Now, the second woe that, that's passed, for, for, for those of you that obviously may know, all right, was known as World War II. What World War II happened when? Well, what, World, World War II was more than 80 years ago already, all right, the 1940. Uh, 1941, right? 1941, uh, all, all throughout 1945, there was World War II. All right. Now, now it's talking here the third war coming coming quickly. That that's talking about World War III. Okay. Okay. The, 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 this world has known two world wars so far. The 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 Book of Revelation here. Is, is describing them as woes. Woe is another word for destruction. So by, by the time the third woe comes along, it's going to be nothing but mass death, great destruction, boom, all right? A, a great lake of fire, all right? The, the winds the winds of fire going to sweep this whole place up, man, all right? Okay. Now, let's go to Revelation 9 and 12, all right? Book of Revelation again, ninth chapter. <coughs> all 
I'm going to read 9th chapter and the 12th verse. All right? It says this, One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more there hereafter. All right? Okay? Once again, that, 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 that's referring to these so-called world wars, all right? That there was World War I in, in 1918, all right? What World War II, if I'm not mistaken, really started in 1939, but it only escalated in 1941 after that, that so-called Pearl Harbor attack, all right, in, in Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and, and 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 that's pretty much that's pretty much the the similar. You see how how you see how the Most High, you see how how, you see how he parallels events to happen and how and how they take place with much similarity. Okay, what's happening with Ukraine right now is is really very similar. It's very similar. All right. It's very similar. I, I just said that, that World War II, if I'm not mistaken, happened in 1939. and only escalated in 1941, okay? So right now, we're, 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 we are, what we are witnessing is, is a gradual escalation of World War III, all right? Uh, that, that, that whole thing with, with, with Ukraine is only... It's only gonna get worse and worse, man. All right. Now, now, if the Most High, if the Most High, if it, if if it's ever the Most High's will, he might he might cool things off there after a while. But if he don't, he don't. That's it. Ain't nothing nobody can do about it. All right. That's why it says here, one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Okay, so 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 that that's where this whole thing with, with, with Ukraine and, and, and that, that let's not forget about China. Let's not forget about China. I mentioned earlier, all right, you can try looking this up yourselves on, on, on Google or YouTube. China's been, been considering invading Taiwan. And, and if China ever does really invade Taiwan, all right, it's, 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 it's going to make matters even worse and, and escalate even further into this World War III situation. All right, now, okay, let me, let me check my time here. I got one more scripture to bring up, all right, one more scripture, all right, and I'll finish it off. I'm gonna try not to make this way too long. All right, but let's let's finish up with the book of Joel, jo Joel the third chapter. All right, All right, so lock it. Just bear with me now. I'm not going to read the whole chapter. The whole chap the whole chapter is pretty pretty damn good. All right, but I'm just going to read a few scriptures to finish making my point about this this whole situation. All right? Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Joel 3 and 9. I'm going to read from verse 9. Joel 3 and 9. <coughs> Salakia. Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw nigh. Let them come up. 
beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. All right? Let the weak say, I am strong. That, 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 that's, that's some of these third world countries or considered inferior countries to them America that already have a nuclear capability. All right? Verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Tither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there would I sit to judge all the heathen round about. All right? Now, now the valley of Jehoshaphat it's really in the Middle East, all right? That, 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 that's, why, that's why you had the, the couple of wars that, that took place around that area in the, in the early 90s. The whole thing with, 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 with Saddam Hussein and all that and the so-called weapons of mass destruction, okay? The, the, the two, two wars were, were, were fought in, in, in Iraq. Okay, and everybody was fearing that that World War III could have escalated way back then, and, and the, the, during the first war of Iraq, okay, the, the, the battle for Kuwait in the early 90s, and, and then in the early 2000s, all right, it, it was it was Bush claiming that 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 uh, that Hussein Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Okay, and and, 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 and and it's only going to keep escalating, all right? Verse 13, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get ye down, for the press is full, and the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. And right now the wickedness of this place is at an all-time high. Do I need say more? Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. All right. The sun and moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, Yasha Allah. So you should know that I am the Lord, your power, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass for her anymore. All right? So, hey. That, 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 that's a promise for, for the Lord's real chosen people right there, man. Do I need say more? All right. So with that, I hope this was edifying. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakak Kadash. Shalom.